seeing you, Big Simple 422. We roll my intro. He's almost out of here. He's almost out of get out of here, Dan. Get out of here. God damn it. Shut up. Shut up. I don't want to hear you. I don't. Be quiet, everybody. Okay. I just received a note that this man is almost out of here. We can focus on football. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. As 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 Coach Simple speaks out the way I need to speak out. Okay, it's good that that I speak out like this because it's been miserable. For the last 20 got the 20 plus years that he's been here, it's been fucking miserable. Uh, let, let me give you the details on how miserable it's been. We've been giving up so much money to certain players that shouldn't be getting money at many years ago. Albert Hainsworth had a hundred million dollars and guess what he only played 32 games but at the end of the day you give everybody else money but don't sign your own players that you drafted at the end of the day then we don't have quarterbacks we didn't have a quarterback that we can depend on in the last 20 plus years that have you You've been here, okay? I pack, I, I packed your stuff. Now you can head on out. But wait a minute. I just got to talk to you for one more second. But it's a lot of stuff that I got to get, get out. It's not one more second. It's a lot that I need to get out. It's so much stuff that I need to get out about you. You is the most pathetic owner that, that, that God green earth that just dropped from Washington. You killed everything that was Washington. Not only that, you killed the fan base. The fan base was the most proudest joy of this franchise. And guess what? You tear that down. You gave us seats that didn't work out at no per at no current moment. This franchise has been a disaster since you stepped in and soon as you walk out. At the end of the day, you are relieved of your duties and at time being, make sure you go ahead and do what you have to do. Because at the end of the day, I don't want you to step one foot, one foot in this locker room because at the end of the day you put people in so much motherfucking pain it, 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 it makes me feel like we didn't do nothing and guess what we only went to two I think only three playoff appearances maybe four maybe five but at the end of the day that don't get off that don't, you've been here for 20 plus years and you didn't do absolutely nothing to provide for the team. You don't even help out the fan base at, at any given moment. You don't put your hands under the fire at all. So the good thing is you are gone. And that's the good thing. And so you just get your shit. Get your pack, pack everything that you need. It don't matter what you need. 
I want you to understand. I felt good when I heard this news. Keep on packing. And guess what? When you recognize this face, this coach simple, you already know where I'm coming from. Fan base. Y'all want me? Is y'all want me? Huh? Because I feel like I'm in a zone right now. At the end of the day, fans, how do you really feel? Okay? How do you really feel? Now we can focus on the times at hand and focus on goddamn football. Now, everybody, understand where I come from. I was born by the river, but at the end of the day, I was born right here in Washington, D.C. And I got to understand every single body that comes through D.C. And I love every single one of y'all. But at the end of the day, Dan Snyder pisses me off in so many ways. You feel me? In so many goddamn ways. He pissed me off. We didn't do nothing. We did not do nothing. We did not do nothing in the last 25 years. Do, do you understand where I'm coming from? 25 years, this man has been killing the franchise for years, for years, for years. Now this motherfucker can go. And guess what? He better take his yacht, take whatever he take, take the shit out of the Washington, D.C. area and get the hell out of Washington, D.C. for good. Get the hell out of D.C. Gave us a bum ass stadium. The stadium was decent at first. You didn't even kick that up. Don't you want to help the fans out? I'm speaking, I'm speaking on the half of the of the fan base of Washington, DC. Okay. I, 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 I'm speaking on y'all bad. So I'm gonna speak to Dan Snyder for y'all. Okay. Now, when I realized that all the full emotions that 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 he put us through, the information didn't come out. Just yet. When it comes out, just know I'm already packed up for for this guy to leave. He can go. When I pack this dude up, you can go for sure. I will dick. I will want the dick. <laughs> I want so much. It's so much pain and suffering with this franchise now we can lay to sleep <laughs> now we can just focus on football You put the quarterbacks, look at the quarterback. We keep on getting sloppy fucking seconds. Every second we get, we get sloppy seconds. We get Eagles, we get all these guys. We get a Rex Grossman. We get all these motherfucking guys. What well, is we doing? We didn't do nothing to solve the quarterback position. And goddamn, since Joe Fastman. Let me tell y'all something. Everybody 
let's just focus on the task at hand and just say, thank God that this man is gone. Okay, this man is gone, man. He's gone. That's good. Now we can focus on football. Now we can focus on football. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Now we can focus on football. Okay, y'all. I love y'all. Okay? I love everybody. I'm a nice guy in Portland. Just know that. I'm a nice guy. But at the end of the day, everybody, celebrate. It's a great feeling. Celebrate goddamn great. Dan Snyder, get the fuck out of D.C. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! Yes. <laughs>